going to know how to prove protect all cells and still be able to change these here is what I'm assuming this you don't want to change because this is calculation same with this and this one here these would be the only ones I could see on the entire workbook that would need that so the first thing we're going to do is protect this sheet we go to tools protection protect sheet and I'm going to leave the password blank. So you see right now, I can't do anything. So now I'm going to take it back off of there to show you what to do. Because now I can. Alright, now these. Now hold your control button down. And these. And this. Right click. Go to format cells. Go to protection and click that unlocked part. Okay, right now all cells, as you can see are able to be moved. Now we're going to protect again. Protection. And you don't need to put a password in there. This is basically like I said in the email. Just to make sure. Now, when I double click this there I get that. But these are the cells you want to change, you see. And double click that. Try to get in and any of these cells here. And that still works. Takes you back home. I don't know where all your sheets go into. I don't know if you need it any more protective than that, I mean, for right now, but that was just to show you how. Uh, also, I would, I would also do this, uh, is to have your sheet tabs, we went through this before, take your sheet tabs off, you, we already went through this before on how to do that, but that's just a thought. So from there, now unfortunately you can't do more than one sheet at a time, I tried that tools protection see it's it won't let you do it when you're have group sheets so you have to take it back off and you would have to do each one individual individually uh, excuse my just leave them all blank I don't need to do any more than that I think you get the idea, and I'll talk to you tomorrow, okay?